Hey everyone, Dr. David Clark. Today I'm going to be talking about why being overweight is going to destroy your brain. There's plenty of research out there to show that people that are overweight, especially really overweight, have poor brain function. There's a great study that was just published that showed that people that are obese have degeneration, like literally brain cells dying in parts of the brain like the frontal lobe and the temporal lobe. Now, if that's happening to someone that's obese, what if you're 20 pounds or 30 pounds overweight? That's still happening. It's just not happening on a large of a scale. So maintaining a normal weight is extremely important. Now, many people out there don't know how to lose weight. And I got news for you. There is no magic bullet, so I don't think I'm going to tell you about one. There isn't a pill you're going to take that's going to make you lose weight. Losing weight can be a complex, a complex issue. And the number one, the number one thing that's going to help you lose weight is do you want to? Are you actually going to follow through with it? Now, that's a whole psychology thing that I don't have time to talk about. But what I want to let you know is that here's what the science is showing. If you are overweight at all, you increase your levels of insulin, which is an inflammatory marker. Okay, and insulin is not a thing that should be floating around in your body. Everyone thinks that it's good because, you know, diabetics need insulin, but that's not how it works. It means you've got increased inflammation in your body, and that increased inflammation immediately increases the odds that in your brain you're going to get inflammation. And inflammation in your brain is a horrible thing, and it, you don't want to get neural or neuroinflammation. Now, if you do, and a lot of the people that I treat do have neural inflammation, there are things we can do naturally to get it under control, but it's hard. And I got a better idea. Why not? How about not getting it in the first place? And the best way to do that is to maintain a healthy weight. Now, if you're already overweight, what do you need to do? Well, in my opinion, you need to have your cortisol levels assessed. You need to have the health of your adrenal glands assessed. You need to have neurotransmitters assessed. There's a lot of things you need to look at. But here's something that you can practically do. You ready? Walk every day. That's it. Just walk. Walk 10 to 15 minutes every day. Start trying to lose weight. Now, if you've been going to the gym and, and hitting the treadmill and hitting the, you know, the elliptical machines and you're, you're able to do an hour now, but you still haven't lost any weight, it's because you're training too hard. You're actually, you're actually training at an intensity that is too high for you to lose weight. And I know that sounds paradoxical. So another little tip for you. If you're trying to lose weight and you haven't had your adrenal glands looked at, like I'm talking about, and you haven't had your cortisol looked at, you know, you could have a liver detoxification problem because if, if you have toxins, and by the way, we all got them just by living in this world, we've got them. If you've got toxins, and by the way, these toxins are stored in your fat cells, if you are full of these things, your body has a little self-defense mechanism built in. When you try to lose weight, these little fat cells dump their contents into your body, and your body is smart enough to say, hey, wait a minute. These are toxins. We can't let this happen. And so what it does is it shuts down your ability to burn those fat cells. Now, there's a way around that. You can do some detoxification procedures first, and a lot of people lose a lot of weight. I recently had someone that's lost 16 pounds in about uh, 20 days. That's a lot of weight. Now, she may put some of that back on, but she's pretty happy. When you gain weight, you become insulin resistant. I'm reviewing here. You have inflammation levels increase. Peripheral inflammation, inflammation in your body, will cause inflammation in your brain. That is a well-known fact. And inflammation in the brain is going to lead to Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, movement disorders, depression, you know, dementia. And then younger kids, oh my God, younger kids are oh, more overweight now than they ever were. And I'm telling you, I see so many kids in my practice that are labeled with ADHD, ADD, autism, and they're overweight. They are overweight, so you know that those kids have got inflammation in their brain. So I wanted to share that with you, and here's one thing, another thing I guess you can do. Uh, get off of carbs. Get off of sugar, because sugar in itself is also going to cause more inflammation. I know everybody says that, but I'm telling you, I've seen way too many people going south at an alarming pace that are still eating crap. Don't eat crap, and don't give it to your kids. I should probably get off my soapbox. I'm going to start talking about a lot of things about why there's this idea that kids need to have something sweet to eat or drink, and that's BS. Sorry for the strong language, but it is. It's crap. So I better go now uh, before I start ranting and raving even more. But in fact, I think I'm going to talk next time about these uh, sort of hidden rules that people think that kids need to have to eat. So being obese will definitely cause brain degeneration. But being overweight will also cause brain degeneration just at a slightly slower pace, and you don't know when it's going to come up and bite you. This is Dr. David Clark. I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.